personal injury court. Good day, everyone. This is the matter of Richardson versus Hickman. Mr. and Mrs. Richardson, it's my understanding that you all are suing Mr. Hickman for injuries, severe shoulder injury that you sustained when you slipped on peanuts at his restaurant. You're asking this court to award you $125,000 for medical expenses, $200,000 for pain and suffering, and a total award of $325,000. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Hickman, uh, you believe she slipped on peanuts that were there. She should have known they were there, and it's not your fault, right? That's correct, Your Honor. All right, well, let's get into the legal sauce. Why did y'all choose this restaurant? Well, Your Honor, I retired after 30 years in the school system. Congratulations. Thank you. So, 30 years, thank you. So, after 30 years being with children, I was finally glad to be over with the school system, so I decided to have a retirement party. I was going to invite some friends and family and co-workers to this place, and I chose this restaurant because it was a little on the casual side, and some of my friends are not very upscale. You know, they like a little casual atmosphere. Now, folks have different kinds of retirement parties. In fact, the sheriffs that used to take care of me uh, many years ago, when these older gentlemen and women would have a party, some of them would have the fun party, some of them would have the formal sit-down. Right. Which one was yours? Was it Mine fun was or formal? I a fun party because I had some diversified friends, so I figured, let's go to this restaurant. I heard the food was great, but when I walked in and looked at it, you know, there was a few peanut shells. I just thought they didn't sweep up that day. So, peanut shells on the floor, Mr. Hickman, is that what happens at your place? Yeah, it's a staple of our place. It's part of the fun atmosphere that we have. It's, it's you know, my restaurant, and uh, my dad gave it to me. In 16 years, we've always had peanut shells on the ground. It's just a fun thing where the patrons eat the peanuts and then throw the shells. So they eat the ground. peanuts and then they throw them on the floor. Now, Correct. what happens with the shells? The shells are just on the ground and we walk on them, but it's just part of the country theme. So it's part of the shtick of your, your restaurant. Correct. And, and I imagine it's pretty popular. That's kind of novel. People come just for that. And uh, I also have uh, 790 positive reviews that you can see here. Sheriff Matt, if you'll get those reviews for me. I want to take a peek at them. Reviews, I'm proud to say. Mm. Let's People see what the all folks... All ages, all ages. What the folks know. say here. Well, you got one here that uh, says... Uh, only house where throwing stuff on the floor won't get you grounded. Mm. Then another one says, be a boss, crack, eat, toss. Sounds do. like a fun place. That's what we do. And then the final one says, uh, real cowboys drop their nuts on the floor. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to stop reading these right now, okay? <laughs> yeah. But, but you've, got a, you've got a fun place. People come there to have fun. Absolutely. It's a packed crowd every night of the week. And part of the fun is throwing these nuts on the floor, drinking beer, just kind of real Having laid back. Having a great time. It adds to the country atmosphere. And that's what you all had anticipated the retirement party would be, right? Well, I didn't anticipate it to be that much peanuts on the floor. When I went to tour the place, it was only a few shells on the floor. So you didn't know Ex that people throw no, I did shells not. on the floor? I did not. Look that's, at this. This is the shot the of the floor in the restaurant. At my party, right. That wasn't like that the day I went on a tour. Well, y'all must have had either a lot of elephants or a lot of people that like peanuts. It was a lot of peanuts. That's right. a lot of peanuts. <laughs> so tell me how you got injured. So it's not true. I, we're having fun, we're drinking, we're eating, and I didn't know that the restaurant was known for the nuts. I thought it was known for the food. So we're eating, having a good time, we're laughing and drinking. So one of his waitress walks over to me and said, well, you're retired. Why don't you start a conga line? You know, I'm a party I person. love them. I like to dance, which, as you can see there, I, I'm a dancer. So I love dancing. I had no problem with dancing. So I got up. As soon now, as those I, can get pretty rowdy, yes, right? As I soon mean, as I stepped on the floor... Depending on how much beer you've had, you know? Well, I didn't have any beer. Okay. So as soon as I stepped on the floor, bam! I mean, I fell and bust my behind. I started screaming, crying. I felt my leg was broken, my hip, I couldn't move. My husband's trying to comfort me, and I'm like, get off me! I mean, I'm just hysterical because I'm embarrassed, first of all. So you saw this, Mr. Richardson? Yes. Yes, sir. I'm yes, embarrassed, I'm in pain. The only thing I didn't hit was my head, which I'm glad. So, Mr. Hickman, this uh, conga line, your, your waitresses and waiters uh, having a good time with the, the patrons, is that what you expect them to do? Yeah, I mean, they come around, and if people are having a good time, they tell them to get up and get in the conga line. It's just part of our fun atmosphere. So we... you've seen conga lines in your place before? Absolutely, and we've never had an incident. Mm. How, how'd you know that uh, Miss Richardson was hurt? 
Well, I was working the register and I heard this shrieking scream. I turned around and my uh, waitress was running over to her. I saw that it was her on the ground and I called 911 as soon as I could to get her help. Did you, you know how she got the... down there to the floor? No, I just heard a scream and we just wanted to help you her. You should have came over to me. You're the owner. I, I, was, <laughs> I was on the phone with 911. So I had to talk to them for a while, so I couldn't run over you had a and be your aide because I'm on the phone yes, with you your help. Everybody what did you has a cell phone. I have you a heart. Came, you could have came to me. Address your comments to me. Let me get okay. to this sorry, thing. I know sorry, this is important to you. It's, I'm just in You all rigged pain. up I'm, there. I understand. Pants are a staple of our restaurant, okay? People go nuts for our nuts. That's our slogan. You see shells all over the floor. The conga line starts, and that's and when disaster begins. And not yeah. only did I fall, when I fell, I'm down on the floor, and I see not only are there shells on the floor, there's nuts down there, too. Okay. Do you know what peanut oil can do to the floor? It makes things very that's greasy. That's what you came for. I didn't Mr. Mr. Nuts. Hickman, I came for the food. Mr. Hickman, how is it that peanuts get on the floor? Aren't people supposed to eat the meat and throw the shells on the floor? That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Is, is so there... the shells are on the ground, not the peanuts. Peanuts well, on well, the, the ground. The peanuts being on the floor creates at least Oil. a different picture, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, but usually it's shells, it's not peanuts. So well, it's not that much oil. Somebody and, comes and into and your after... restaurant, they fall, they get hurt. How's that not your fault? It's your place. Thank You're you. nuts. Your shells. She knew the risks before coming there. She toured the place and said she wanted to book it there. But it wasn't that so many nuts on the floor. So she was satisfied. I thought, great, another you know, happy nope. customer. She even remarked, Your Honor, when she came and toured the restaurant, she remarked how much she this loved the place. This and is how much before friends, the party. Correct. And how much her friends were going to love it, too. Right, well, well it okay. do you remember that? Yes. Did the floor look like that? No. She came during no. lunch. It wasn't no. as bad as that. No. Okay. There were Thank clearly you. there were shells, discarded shells on the ground. Thanks Had I known it was going to be like that, I would have worn different shoes. Now, what? People go nuts for our nuts. What did you think that meant? Well, that what they did, just like Ms. nuts. Ms. Richardson. They like crazy people. Ms. I knew well, they who wears open-toed shoes? Why not? Why Mr. not Hickman. flats? Or... Mr. Hickman. It didn't match my outfit. Come on. Order in this court. Sorry, Your Honor. Order in this court. Sorry, Your Honor. You guys got to talk to me. I'm sorry, Your If Honor. you want her to make the decision, keep talking to her. I got to figure this out. OK. OK? Sorry, Your Honor. So you slip. Right, I slipped and on And you hit the nut. floor. When did you know hip. that your shoulder was badly hurt? Not only my shoulder, I have a broken hip. So my whole life has changed. I retired after 30 years. My husband and I have plans So you hurt your hip? I have a broken hip. You hurt hip, your shoulder? My shoulder, my knee. Your the only knee? Thing I didn't hurt was my head. And you got $125,000 in past medical expenses. Yes, because my husband has to take me to physical therapy every other day. I'm retired. I was supposed to travel. Yes, ma'am. We have no quality of life anymore. I see I... from your medicals that you tore your rotator cuff. Yes. Okay, how's that been? It's not good. As you can see, as from my pictures, I was a traveler. I ride Is elephants. Is that you on an That's elephant? That's me on an elephant, yes. Okay. Which I can't do anymore. I ride elephants, I skate, I dance. I do all of these things, which my very active. life is no longer. I'm depressed. I mean, I stay in the bed. He has to help me get dressed in the morning. I see that you're asking this court for $200,000 for pain and suffering. Tell me about that. Well, because I can no longer do the things I enjoy, I don't take care of my family anymore. I can't cook, I can't clean, I can barely dress. How do you fix your hair? My husband, it's a wig. He know how to put a wig on now. <laughs> He's learned. <laughs> Okay. So, Mr. Richardson, you've been standing in the gap for your wife, right? That ain't no question, Your Honor. Tell me how this has affected you all's relationship. My wife is depressed. She's not happy anymore. She was an outgoing person before. She used to like to travel. She used to like to go places and do things. She doesn't like to do that anymore. It's hard for her to get in the bed. It's hard for her to get out the bed. It's Mr. Hickman, you see this is a big deal, right? It's unfortunate that we're here under these circumstances and that you injured yourself, and I am sorry for that. But, you know... Are you really is, sorry? That's the first time he's ever said that, too. Is it? Yes. How long have you owned this place? 16 years, Your Honor. Did anyone ever tell you that they didn't go crazy for your nuts? <laughs> <laughs> I did. No. This isn't... It's not my fault, OK? Her party was the main party eating the peanuts and throwing no, them on we the ground. So clearly so, that's so we were other, not. Clearly, that's... There are other people. We were not. There are we other not. people. You were. No, we weren't. We Order in this court. We were not. Now, I've said it one other time that you ought to address me. 
Mr. Richardson, did you see anybody in your party throwing shells on the floor? You had to. Yes, yes, Your Honor. Right? I did. Everybody was throwing shells on the floor. All of your entire party, their entire party were joining in the atmosphere fun with the peanuts. Because that's part of the them. good time. That's what we do. But it was just right? if it was just the shells, Your Honor, then it would be a different story. But there were peanuts. When I hit the ground, there were peanuts on the ground also. I brought a, I brought an exhibit to show you today. All right. Go on over and, and show Your Honor, me. before I he goes, these... before he does that, they should have receptacles for the nuts to go into. But then it wouldn't be the same place. It would be a YMCA. <laughs> Your Honor, <laughs> I'm stepping on these peanuts, and you can see how slippery it is. And it's not necessarily so much the peanut now shell. Step on those nuts again. I want to see that. <laughs> and, and... You did that well. And yeah, you did you, submit a video I, for I the submitted court. a video for you to let you know that about five minutes' time how much oil is left over from these peanut shells and peanuts on the floor. Okay, let's take a peek at it. So if I take this shoe and I crush these shells, I'm going to give it about five minutes, and you'll see that this paper will be soaking wet with oil just from the residue and the peanuts. It's been five minutes, Your Honor. As you can see, this floor Look is at oily it. from the residue and the peanuts. They're responsible for this. This is what caused my wife to fall. This is what caused her to hurt herself. So, uh, Mr. Hickman, you see all that oil on that butcher paper? I do. That could make somebody slip, though, huh? It could, yes. but our, our actual... But with that... With the material on the floor, it doesn't make it that slippery. There have been conga lines before at your place? Every, every night, yes. And, and people just go all around, every snaking night. around the restaurant? And she was actually being loud and disorderly, and we had to calm her down. Disorderly. She was being oh, loud she was and disorderly. She was dancing on the peanut shells, and, and we had to keep the, the, the walkway the... clear, so rhythm. we had a server come over and tell her, and she goes, I'm the one paying for the party. I was. So, Miss Richardson. Well, I was paying for the party, and now he's gonna pay for what has to happen to me. This injury, I mean, I... Do you have to wear that brace yes. all the time? Yes, I do. What happens when you go to sleep at night? I sleep like this. So can you imagine I kick him out the bed because we have a king-size bed. He has to sleep in the guest room. He can't enjoy me anymore. I mean, my life is over with him. But thank God he's a good man. He takes care of me. He, he seems like a good man. He is. He is. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Richardson, you heard Mr. Hickman talk about how she was up dancing, having a good time. She was dancing, having a good time, right? She was supposed to be dancing and having a good After time. After 30 years? Isn't that right? It wasn't, like I said, again, it was the oil she was from all those peanuts heels, on the floor that caused her to open -toed slip. open-toed high heels. If water was spilled on the floor... And she wore high heels and open-toed shoes. Excuse me, Your Honor. To a country theme bar. Maybe something a little more appropriate. Flats because it matched my boots. outfit. It matched my outfit. I'm sorry. Somebody's gonna go to jail today. Nope. Address your comments to me. Y'all are making me nuts. <laughs> Mr. Hickman, you mentioned that she was wearing high-heeled shoes. Don't many people come in? I mean, women wear high-heeled shoes, right? Yes. yes. And they probably have done it, and everything's fine. So when she wears these, apparently these aren't appropriate for her, but, you know, she wasn't even worried about the nuts because she was dancing on top of the nuts. Now, Miss Richardson, your husband crushed those shells on the video with, uh... A high-heeled shoe. Is that the kind of shoe you yes, had on? It's almost the, the same shoe, except those were my black ones, which okay. I can no longer wear anymore. All of my heels I cannot wear Because anymore. of your hip injury? Yes. I, wear, I have to wear little flat shoes now. I think I've heard enough. I think I'm ready to render my decision. <laughs> Folks, in every personal injury case, the plaintiff, that is you all, the Richardsons, you have to prove that the defendant committed a wrong, that Mr. Hickman committed a wrong that his wrong caused your injuries. You have proven today that there were peanuts on the floor, that there was oil on that floor, that there were shells on that floor, and that a waitress allowed you to, or encouraged you mm -hmm. to come and do a conga line. You did the conga line, you slipped and fell, and had a terrible retirement experience. Yes, sir. Mr. Hickman, you run a restaurant that people throw peanuts and shells on the floor. She should have known this. That's why she booked the place, because of that shtick. This had never happened to you before. And frankly, you've been making the point that it's obvious. People are here for our nuts. People go nuts for our nuts, Your Honor. Under the law, I've got to consider everybody's responsibility. Yes. But here's the problem. Your waitress started a conga line, and that's what tips the scales. Here, I find that you are partially responsible for your injuries. But I'm going to find in your favor only because your waitress was involved. 
Mrs. Richardson, I find that you are 49% responsible for your injuries. You are suing for $325,000. 51% of that is $165,750. I'm making that award and that amount to you, taking into account your partial responsibilities for your injuries. I find in your favor, in the amount of $165,750, that is my final verdict, and this matter is adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor. Our attorneys across America just viewed this case for the first time. Let's hear what Andrew Finkelstein has to say. Two things stand out in this verdict. First, the defendant's employee started this incident when she encouraged the conga line. The employer is responsible for the negligent acts of the employee when those actions are done in the course of their employment. Second, the waitress should have been cleaning the floor instead of starting a party. The restaurant knew that the shells and crushed peanuts could make the floor dangerous, but failed to remove the hazard. Your Honor, this is <laughs> This is nuts. What I didn't do saying? anything wrong. This is gonna close. Sir, you don't get to talk to me like that in my courtroom. Matt, get him out of here. Get him out of here, Matt. Bye-bye.